What's important is to make sure you're monitoring lunar changes, the, what the lunar phases are. Hey, my name is Carissa Hunter and I'm a third year PhD student at George Mason University in, in the Department of Chemistry and Biochemistry. I study chemistry because I want to make a huge impact on our environment and planet. Now you may be asking, how is that possible? Well, if you follow me along my journey, I'll show you. So now I'm on my way to the Potomac Science Center where I conduct my research. I come to the Potomac Science Center about twice a week. It's only about 30 minutes from campus and 20 minutes from my house. So it's actually pretty convenient. I'm looking at um, pharmaceuticals in the Potomac River. So those are like your over-the-counter medicines, your hormonal drugs, um, and also personal care products so like sunscreen, um, insect repellents. And um, I'm looking to see how much of it it actually gets back into our drinking water. And I use this instrument called the uh, liquid chromatography mass spectrometer um, to determine or analyze the concentrations in the samples that we collect. We should care about um, what we're putting into our bodies, yeah. Uh, because um, let's say that you don't need antidepressants or anti-anxiety pills um, and small traces of it gets back into the water that you're drinking, right? Now you drink it, it gets into your body. And it could be very harmful. It's also harmful to the ecosystem, like the plants, um, the fishies in the water. Um, it's really terrible. Yeah. My Mason experience, I would say that I have enjoyed mostly the people I've interacted with and met. Um, everyone is super supportive of each other and wanting to see everyone else succeed. Feeling like I don't belong, a sense of not belonging, or like imposter syndrome, being like one of the select few African Americans in the chemistry department. Um, and so that's probably one of the biggest challenges I face. Yeah. Uncle G, Dr. Weatherspoon. Um, yeah, he's um, actually helped me a lot. Just seeing how far he's gone um, inspires me and also seeing how much he does for other students. Um, not just me being uh, African, a black student in his department, but other students as well. Um, he truly cares and wants to see people succeed. Sometimes during the week, I have a couple of virtual meetings to attend. Um, this includes the Virginia Section Younger Chemist Committee of the American Chemical Society. I've been a member for three years and we do a lot of professional development workshops. I also am the Northeast Region Student Representative for the National Organization for the Professional Advancement of Black Chemists and Chemical Engineers, or NOVICHE. And I've actually helped bring this organization to Mason. I'm really passionate about this board because I believe we need more diversity and representation in chemistry. I am the College of Science's Academic and Student Affairs Coordinator, and I work in the Office of Academic and Student Affairs. And in our office, we offer student support, like academic advising, um, we help with um, admissions. Our team also travels to different colleges um, for recruitment pur purposes um, to get students to come to graduate school at Mason. I would say my biggest role model is my sister. Um, she's not in the sciences. She's totally finance, business. We're total opposites, but um, I look up to her just because she um, She's just been a great, I guess, light in my life. Um, since undergrad, she's um, helped me with registration, picking out um, the dorm I would stay in, graduate school. She also went through my classes with me, even though Melissa would help. She's like, okay, you're gonna take this, this, and this. You're gonna do these many credits. Advice I would give a graduate student entering Mason is um, probably not doubting yourself um, and keep going when the times get rough. Well, that's all from me. I hope you enjoyed a sneak peek into my life as a chemistry PhD student. Thanks for watching.